Are you kidding me? Check this spot out. Welcome back to another episode guys just van in it we are currently sitting waiting to get onto the ferry to kangaroo, uh, island. kangaroo island and with this is going to be a um i'm thinking a two episode um videos on on kangaroo island because we're going to be there for 10 awesome days eh? Damn. so we decided we're going to split the videos up so this is going to be episode one i'm going to drop all the little links in below for the ferry it cost us 788 dollars and 31 cents if i might add that's for Two adults, a caravan and a car. So you've got to ring them up and get all your measurements because that's what they're going to ask you when um, you, you you call up. I just want to say that's a lot of coffee. It's a lot of coffee. It is apparently the most expensive ferry for the distance you go. Um, it's only a 45 minute ferry ride. Why I, I can... add the caravan's rocking in the wind. And so it is super be windy. Bumpy. So we're on the 6 p.m. ferry. It's five o'clock now. It's just gone five. So we've got to head and get in the queue. I've been told and I've been warned that you've actually got to back your caravan on this side. So when you get to Kangaroo Island, you drive straight off. So that's going to be a bit tricky. So we're going to try and have a fun 10 days on, um, uh, on Kangaroo Island. Let's get in. Let's get in the queue. Let's get on. And um, let's go and enjoy ourselves. How did you go parking? Well, it was easier than I thought, but you're still a bit nervous because everyone's watching you. But yeah, got it in first time, so pretty happy with that. Um, what else? Half an hour before we had a check in. Yep. And um, Sue actually had to walk on, she can't come in the car with you. So when we get to the other side now, I'll drive the car off. Left safe in the car. Apparently, we're allowed to go and check on the dog, so. Right. That, that That's pretty good because I was a bit worried about that. It's 45 minute ferry ride, so looks like they sell some food, cool drinks on board. Coffee. Coffee. Um, Beer. It's a little bit of like a sunset cruise, isn't it? Mm, calm yourself. I'm, I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't like this type of thing. My anxiety goes a bit high. <laughs> On the island and as you come off you come up the hill and it just the views already starting and I'm super excited let's go and grab Sue see what she thinks the boat ride was a bit bumpy but that's okay it wasn't too bad really to be fair 45 minutes on the nailed it on the head what do you think of the boat ride boat ride was great not long and what happened minutes. on the boat um Sophie was on the front seat, the driver's seat of the car, and obviously turned her patootie around or jumped up on the steering wheel. And all we heard was, was epic horn. horn honking. And old lab in the back here had her patootie parked up against the horn. Well, are you excited to be here? I'm so excited to be here. Hey, look at this. Here we go. We have about a 40 minute let's drive go, let's to go. meet our mates on the island. Woo! All right, sing us a tune. I'll turn around. Dun, Great way to start dun, our trip. Dun, dun. La, la. It wouldn't be a trip oh. if there wasn't a good boggin. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get out. Oh, she's turning.
Well, good, good morning. morning. First sort of official day on Kangaroo Island, guys. And we've come through to American River Wharf. There's a cool little coffee shop here that Sue wants to grab a coffee. Of um, course. No surprises. But unfortunately, as you can see, it's not looking great. Just thought I'd day. We can't really do much with the, with, with the weather. We have been told that it opens up in the afternoon and the sun generally well, comes Well, if, so. if we swing around a little bit quickly, a little bit of blue sky there. So why not take a bit of time, let's grab a coffee, and then we're going to regroup and see. I don't know, we might go through and try and have a little bit of a fish somewhere or something, but also when we get back to our camp, because we got the, um, to camp so late last night, we'll give you a little whip around the camp as well. But um, this little American um, river area looks so stunning, doesn't it? It does. It's a beautiful Like a little fishing wolf. village, eh? Fishing village. So, Absolutely. yeah, let's go through. Let's get a grab a coffee and then um, soon I'll chat what we're going to do. How's the coffee? Oh, it is absolutely delicious. It's one of the best coffees I've had in a long time. So definitely recommend if you like a good coffee to come through and have a visit. And with a view, eh? Beautiful view. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt. The sun has come out. How weird is that? Because when we were at the coffee shop, it was overcast, and it's literally taken us 15 minutes to get here, and we're at uh, a place called Red Banks, I think it's called. Right? It's Red Banks. Red Banks, just um, about 15 minutes up from American um, River. And I tell you what, you can't really get down. I wouldn't say you could snorkel here, but we've spotted a few dolphins in the in the water floating past, and yeah, we just thought we'd come and, come and check it out. I don't know if you can really get a... Show them the drop, love. Like, yeah, it's a pretty, it pretty good spot to come for. Oh, I'll tell you what, sunset. I mean, that's a pretty pretty hairy um, drop, off? drop off there, guys. But yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah, we're just stuck on this little... Yeah. Anyway, but just the colour of this... Um, the, these cliffs are just beautiful. Dolphins just up in front of us here. And they just seem to be like hanging together. It's so pretty. We're at a lookout point on our way to Emu, Emu Bay or Emu Beach, and um, I thought I'd just come to this lookout point and have a look. I mean, we can't access the beach here, which is a pity. It's called it's the Bay of Shoals. Bay of Shoals, is it? Okay. And um, yeah, they're still just hanging around, which is pretty cool. Into the clear water there. So, yeah. But. Sun's come up. Sun has come out. And I don't think we should hang around too long. And we should head towards um, Emu, Emu Bay. Sun is out and check where we've managed to park up the ute. We have been told that Emu Bay is. Yeah, now that little cheeky one's coming in, but still, and that water, <laughs> I don't know if that's for me, eh? What do you reckon? I reckon I'm gonna have a swim. I don't know, I'll try my best and do a swim, but otherwise, Sue's gonna have a dip. 
Sophie's already had a dip. Nearly drowned. And uh, we're just going to park up here, guys, for the afternoon, I reckon. night one and there's some nice soft sand playing managed to get the van in and then um, Derek unhitched it to my horror because how is he gonna get it hitched back up with soft sand here we go moment of truth Derek versus soft sand take one Back. How much that the crowd is in <laughs> awe, absolute awe. <laughs> oh, the crowd goes wild. Man versus sand in point, well, two. So the idea is to park up on the good stuff there, darling. Oh. That's a good idea. So we're going to have to manoeuvre it into place, but we're going to have to clean up around the van. All, all the I want to say, first I mean, of all, thank you to our audience for your yay! attendance. And second of all, thank you to Mark all good. for all uh, the max track manoeuvring. So you need to go move the stuff on that side, please, darling. This is a very, you know... Love, I'm behind the camera. I'm a busy woman. Audience is ready. <laughs> the audience is back in place. <laughs> something crash. Soft as sand, but it, soft as sand. Sand is soft, but it's durable. Yay! <laughs> and we're parked right up on the water. Well guys, you can see the van behind me. I've got the GoPro now, so Oopsie, you might find the audio just a slight bit different, but the reason is we've got the boat out. But we've got to walk it out a bit and uh, just gonna go and try and see if we, what is about in the bay here, like squid or I believe there's some tuna around, so I'll oh, wait. Look at this rod, <laughs> and we are fishing for squid. <laughs> Hang on a minute, we'll show you. It's not. Oh yeah, he's a stunk. Oh, have a look Mate. at that, guys. Look at that. I'm just hearing something about I've got squid in my what? In my crutch. In your crutch. Oh. Appropriate in for YouTube, please. Squid Let's have a little look see. What have we got? Yeah. Oh, wow. Not a bad feed, boys. Oh, Keep yeah. the head. Sophie, come on. Move. Sophie, out the squid bag, girl. Yeah, someone that's never one. fished this area. 
Not oh, bad. Not too bad. How many did you get? I think about 14. I think no one's... 14, um, yeah. I think no one's Ooh. fished here, that's why. Good job. So now it's the process of cleaning that up for dinner. Yeah. Wow, We're look all having that. good for dinner tonight. Yeah, some nice ones. Yeah. to Pennington Bay for dinner and hopefully a sunset drink but that cloud covers moved over but um Pennington Bay from where we parked is about 19 minutes drive so not too far so it's half past five already and uh, we got Mark and Vanessa with us um, and yeah we're just gonna go and, and, and have a look and I'm happy to be out the van yeah I'm sure you are um, Guys, I'd like to say something. We're getting a lot of comments saying that it's so good to see Sue more in the videos and stuff, and it's been awesome when Sue's been on leave. But I've got to ask you, please, if you're getting this far in our video and you're enjoying our stuff, the only way we're going to get Sue to possibly be in the videos a bit more is if I can ask you, please, to help us grow our channel by us clicking the subscribe button and leaving a comment and clicking the notification bell that way we grow as a as a as a youtube channel and that way possibly we can get the growth we we can try and see if we can get sue into the videos a bit more um and yeah so we just we just ask you if you don't mind if you are watching on a tv that's great we really appreciate it it's harder to subscribe on the tv we believe i don't know you hop on your phone check us out subscribe that really helps us um we you know grow our channel and that way we can grow and we possibly can get sue more into the videos but i won't enough fable on that let's go to pennington bay baby kidding me check this spot out guys it is absolutely amazing although it's overcast oh I'm so glad we came down to this I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Oh, jeez. What now? Well, the good news is i got some epic footage for you to drop into the video. What is that? Well, the bad news is I was doing some B-roll and I turned my back for three seconds and Madam Fluff ran into a rock pool. Are you serious? So she's yeah, wet? she's wet. Oh, God. One guess what's for dinner? Some more. This is the second one from the pack we bought the other day. Straight on the pan. There's a bin here. And cooking with that beautiful view. Well, I'm going to. Sue's recording from that side so you can see the view. And when Sue's finished recording, I'll go around the other side so I can cook with a view. But yeah, what a spot. What a spot. Needless to say, sausage is down the hatch. That was amazing. Something so simple, with a view, 
It's great. Sophie's still waiting for hers. No, so, Sophie's been a little pee. Where's your sausage, Sophie? So we're doing a bit of a bin relay. Yep. Derek's on his way back, Mark's on his way out. Just like to say, oopsie, there is a bin here. There so is a bin the here. Bin, but what an epic um, evening. I think it was a great idea to come to uh, um, Pennington Bay. But now we're going to wrap this up because it's getting dark and well they don't call Kangaroo Island, Kangaroo Island for nothing. Watch the kangaroos at night. So we're going to wrap this up and we're going to beat it back. We're going to have an early night tonight, do a bit of editing. And up tomorrow, I've got a few chores to do tomorrow. I've got laundry to do. I've got a few things to go do in terms of Sounds exciting. business. Get some water. And then, yes. Yeah, so Nothing tomorrow's... like getting your day going with a bit of laundry, lab. Yeah. Lots but... to look forward to. I know. It's a bit sad. But someone's got to do it. Well, another day on Kangaroo Island. Well, how was last night's dinner? Last I... night's dinner was good. Crab, yeah, it was delicious. As you can see, I didn't enjoy, really enjoy the crab, but we soon reached out of a, wine, a winery on Kangaroo Island. Can you please inform a little bit more about this winery? So we're going to have a wine tasting at Bay of Shoals Winery, which is five kilometers outside of Kingscott. Kingscott, yeah. On Kangaroo Island, and I cannot wait. So let's jump in. Let's go and have a look, guys. So I've got a four taster. I went with two whites and two reds. So first of all, a lovely Pinot Noir, followed by an oaked Chardonnay. And in the reds, I've got a Cabernet Sauvignon and a Shiraz. So looking forward to tasting those. Are they sweet or dry? They're all dry. I'm oh. a dry wine drinker. So they did ask me when I went up to the counter whether I prefer reds, whites, rosés and whether or not I'd like them um, sweet or dry. So looking forward to the dry. Now you must probably asking yourself why I'm not, I'm not in this whole thing. I'll take a guess, I don't drink wine. <laughs> so, and they don't sell anything else here, but that's okay. You know, Sue works hard, so I brought her out here to the winery. A little date. We should call it a bit of a date night, a date day, date evening. Because it actually is about just got five now. So they're only open from what time? Daily from 11 to 5 pm. There you go. Every day. So we just made it in time. Anyway, that's why I'm not drinking. Got yourself. I have got myself two beautiful bottles actually off the tasting menu. So I got a Pinot Gris and I got a Shiraz, which is what they're both superb. white or one red, the Shiraz, and one white, the Pinot Gris. And honestly, for three out of those four wines, or for four taster, I would have bought really superb wines, really subtle with depth, beautiful. Highly recommend. Sound like you know what you're talking about, eh? Well, I do when it comes to wine. I'm a bit of a wine beast. I've been drinking it for many years. About Bay of Shoal wine. So the vineyards were planted in 1993. So going on 29 years old, overlooking the Bay of Shoals, which was one of the original settlements or the first settlement in South Australia. And they've got 15 hectares of vineyard, which is absolutely beautiful overlooking the bay. Over and above that, the staff are top notch in terms of their hospitality. It is such a beautiful place to come and just spend an afternoon and um, they've got some wonderful grazing platters to go along with their beautiful wines and I'd highly recommend the stop if you're on Kangaroo Island. Thank you Bay Shoal Wines for having us. Yeah! This! I mean, I he doesn't have to I'll, try. Oh, I think I will. I've got 45 PSI on the back still. I'm not in four-wheel drive so 
take traction control off of the ourselves a bit. I don't want to get myself too bogged. Yep. Woo! How good did that sound? All right, guys. We'll see you next week. It sounded good, but you took about two years off the clutch. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Woo! See ya! <laughs> <laughs>